Hello, I'm going to show you a very new exciting AI tool called Schemely, and I hope I am saying that correctly. I couldn't find another video where it was being said. This tool is free for teachers, and I say free, there are paid options for it, but you'll get three lesson plans from this a month on the free lesson plan option. So that's what I'm going to show you today. This tool is a lot like some of the other AI tools that are out there, but it has a few more bells and whistles, namely in the form of integrations that you can include with it. So similar to other tools, you can go in and make your account. It's Google SSO if you'd like it to be that way. And you'll enter your lesson title, your subject, whatever you're teaching. And I have an example here on the screen. And what it will do will create objectives for you, or if you already have some, you can type them in. It'll come up with all of your lesson plan activities, anything from vocab to how you can start your lesson. If you want to specify that it's a block class versus 45 minutes, you can do that. And then what's really cool is it takes it a step further and it can create Quizlet flashcards for you on the vocab for your lesson and your units. It can make a little Kahoot quiz for you and it can even find relevant or related educational YouTube videos for you to include as well. Now with any one of those, always make sure that you go in and you preface it and check it. Make Make sure it's ready and appropriate for your students, but it's really helpful because it kind of saves you some of that time in lesson planning and prepping. It even can make some suggestions here for how you can support all the diverse students in your classroom, as well as possible assessment options for your students and things to look for based on your lesson objectives in those student assessments, whether it's formative or summatives. So to get started, I'm going to sign in and show you my account and walk you through how to use the tool. It is pretty nice in that it does a little guided tutorial for you the first time. And here we go. So I can enter my lesson title and get rolling. So I'm just using the free version of it. I don't plan on paying for it. So I can make separate courses if I would like. I can upload something and it can create something for me from there. I can explore what other teachers have done or I can even borrow some of their lessons depending on how they have set this up. So what I'm going to do is just make a lesson. All right, so I'm going to call this, and we're going to do this 14, we're going to have to create. Now, if you already have a lesson plan, you could click that write manually option that was on my screen before I clicked away really quickly. And that's where you can plug in some things that you already have built out. So this can be super helpful if you want to just give a lesson a refresh or if you have a lesson you really like, but you want you don't want to sit there and type out your own Quizlet flashcards or find your own YouTube videos or make your own Kahoot game. This can do some of that heavy lifting for you. All right, so I'm going to pause the video while it works. So you don't just sit here and stare at my screen. All right, so it made my lesson plan for me, and here is what it did. So I can add my own picture here so it stands out to me visually whenever I want to go through and save this and access it in the future, and maybe I can use that picture and put it in my Canvas course. But it has my objectives here and their contributions, which is actually exactly what was one of my objectives when I taught this. I always wanted students to learn the contributions of these different dynasties in China. Um, we have a little activity here, and I have to research something. We have um, some different activities for students here that include some collaboration. So I can always go through, look at these, edit them if I would like, save it. I could email it to myself and another teacher. If I would like a co-teacher, if I have a teacher of record who's in there with me as well. Um, I can upload my own slides, presentations, and attachments, or I can have it generate slides for me. So I will say the slides that it generates are for PowerPoint, not necessarily Google Slides, but this is where I can also access some of those integrations that I mentioned. So it can make Quizlet flashcards for me based on this vocab list that it generated. If I wanted to add more vocab words to this, I can type them in and it will add those to that Quizlet deck. So you can edit all of these things if you would like. And here's where it can make that slides presentation for me. Uh, I can have it make a video, it can, it can find a video for me, and then I can make a quiz that goes along with that video. And I have a summary here, a teacher explainer, so many helpful things made for this lesson in a Kahoot. So I can save this and come back and edit this if I'm pinched for time. Otherwise, what I can do is I can go through and access these things. So I can make my Quizlet flashcards, I can make my slides, and then really get this lesson ready to go. So if you've not used this tool before, you do get to use three, you can generate lessons three times a month. So three lesson plans a month. 
Um, but you can always go through and tweak and edit things as you need it. So I thought I would show you this tool because while it is very new and I still think they're going to be adding in new features and kind of working through some things, it's one that's super exciting and helpful and could save you time in planning your lessons. So check it out and let me know what you think.